everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Tina and I make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos. For today's video, I decided to share a cleaning marathon. So if you haven't seen a cleaning marathon before, it's basically a few of my cleaning videos compiled into one longer video so that you can just keep it on in the background while you're cleaning yourself. Or if you just like binge watching cleaning videos or longer style videos, then this would definitely be the one for you. In all the videos today, it will have the original voiceovers and you'll be seeing a little bit of everything. We'll be cleaning, deep cleaning, doing tons of homemaking, daily chores, decorating, cooking, grocery hauls. So if those are the things that you enjoy, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post weekly and I'm looking right now to dedicate to one specific day a week. So if you can let me know in the comments what day and time you think would be best to do that, it would be incredibly helpful. Right now I'm working on a big kitchen organization video that will be for next week, so make sure to come back to check that out. I'm going to be going through every cabinet to declutter, clean, organize the entire kitchen. So I hope you enjoy this video and make sure to say hi in the comments. Hi everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Tina and today I am doing a clean with me video and we are cleaning all of the areas that I have been putting off for way too long. I'm pulling up my list here so you can see everything that I need to get done. I got this all done in two days and I think the most time consuming was the couch and we're starting that off here. I knew this was gonna take a long time, it always does, but one thing that I did differently this time is I actually took the covers of the top cushions off and I put them in the washing machine. Every time that I've washed the couch, I have done them by hand and they take forever to dry and I never even took them out of their cases. I would just wash the top, which was probably a bad idea looking back, but I was just too scared to put them in the washing machine. So I'm glad I finally faced my fears and got that done. <laughs> and the couch was really due for cleaning. I don't think that I've done it since James was born. So thanks again for clicking on this video. We have a lot to get through today. I hope you'll stick around. I hope maybe you'll get up and clean with me, keep me on in the background, listen to the music I picked out. And I just hope that I can be the reason that you feel motivated today. So I hope you can get up, feel motivated to do the things you need to do, the stuff you need to get done, or maybe the stuff that you've been putting off like me. machine. This machine came with a small of this. This exact one, the Pet Pro Oxy. I was thinking, this is kind of old. Maybe I should get a new one. Is it still good? I was just looking at it. As I was looking at it, I realized it says formula made for upright carpet cleaners only. This whole time I've been using it in this machine. It even has an X over a little machine like that. But the weird thing is that this came with this machine. I'm so confused. No, I think I might get a new one because this is really old. It has like schmutz all over the front of it. So I might go to Target and get one today. I don't think I could start this right now anyway because James just woke up. So I did get the cushions in, so that's great. Hopefully, wish me luck that they do not shrink. Wish I had a girl like you I'm 
I think I kept putting the couch off for so long because it is like a big undertaking I feel like for the whole day it just takes a long time it doesn't take a long time to actually clean the couch like it only took me probably 30 minutes to clean the whole couch but then it takes a long time for it to dry and I never know if I need to do a second cleaning until it dries or at least it's almost dry and I could start seeing like if there's still stains left and all that um, I did have to do a second cleaning this time and honestly I feel like I could have done a third but I didn't let's not be crazy <laughs> that would have taken way too long um, and it definitely would have went into the next day and I didn't want to do that so I'm just gonna promise myself that I will do this more often um, because it although it did take a long time technically it was way quicker than it used to be because I used to do the cushions with the machine as well so it would take double the amount of time um, and that was really a pain in the butt Still remember how you sound And the way you calm me down When we went behind the bar Taking what we thought was ours I was wasted, it was late You were all I've waited for Cause I can wait a little more Yeah, yeah It was just one of those nights When it's better than in all the movies Perfect I've got the clean pillow covers They look so much cleaner I regret so much not, you, not doing this ever Um they smell so good and so clean. I'm so annoyed that I was too scared to do it. Well, I guess we'll find out because I haven't tried to put one on yet. Okay, now the true tests. How hard is it gonna be to get these in? Next couch we get, I am definitely getting cushion covers that come off on the top and the bottom because cleaning that couch kills my back, let me tell you. It worked. It worked! Oh my goodness. I took the fake snow piece off because I don't feel like it needs it. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why it's there. 
Like I said, I've never taken these out. I don't know, and not all of them had it, so I'm just gonna leave it without. It's fine, I think. Oh my god. This is amazing. A nice, clean couch. So I washed it on cold, and then I tumble dried, tumble dry low. What's your name? And the fun we had is to blame. There was just no time for small talk. I was busy in your arms, love. Frustrated to this day. You're the one that got away. And you took my heart with you. Now I don't know what to do. Yeah, it was just one of those nights when it's better than in all the movies. Perfectly aligned. I fell into you. Jamesy is loving his little fort that his dad made with the couch cushions, so he's very happy about that. But we're moving on to pilling the dining room chairs. I can't explain how addicting and satisfying this is. Um, these chairs, by the way, they are so great. I got them when we moved into this house, and we always get compliments, not about how they look, but about how comfortable they are. They're so comfortable, they roll, they're so great. But um, as you can see, I have to do this to them because the fabric, you know, gets the little things on them. So I just use this thing that's really for like sweaters and stuff. Um, and it just shaves it right off. And it just is like one of those things where it's like you could just keep going and going and going. So honestly, this took a while. It probably took just as long as cleaning the couch.
air vent gets so dirty so quick and it's pretty high up on the wall so it's kind of like out of sight out of mind so I tend to forget to clean it and to change out the filter even though Bobby does change out the filter too but I think I just want to get a new cover for it because the metal cover that's on top is so dirty and it looks like it was painted white so it's just like it just doesn't become like nicely clean and there's still just like stuff stuck on the one side of it I kind of show you after I'm all done that I just couldn't get off it's just so hard like even the vacuum wouldn't get out really I think I just gotta somehow get it off of its hinge and like hose it down but if I'm gonna go that far then I just want to get a new one it's kind of like mini blinds you know what I mean like it's almost like when it's too far gone just buy a new pair because it can't be that expensive Dear Marie, hope you got somewhere to be. I've been floating out in space I thought I'd write to you in case you felt alone just like me with this anxiety is it all a simulation one sincere rose in an empty basement I wish I could be with you again cause I'm lonely as ever and I thought it'd get better and I hope to see your face somewhere cause I'm lonely as ever and it doesn't get better Fantasies I've got Fantasies that were driving debated not even putting this in the video because of how embarrassing it is the black part that you just saw inside the track of this door I'm not joking I thought it was black it's been like that since we moved in I literally thought that they painted it black I guess I've never scrubbed it down and I really just like would vacuum it because it was black and I just didn't see a lot of dirt because it was black and I only wanted to scrub it down because I noticed that James put his finger in there and there was black stuff on his finger so I thought maybe something was in there I didn't think that that was all dirt or whatever that was I really don't know I mean it was hard to get it all off I don't know is that old gunk dirt that's just been there for like years and years and years it kind of seems like it wasn't because it was like a pure black. It's very strange, but very embarrassing. And I've learned my lesson. I guess you should scrub absolutely everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to end that off with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.
everyone thanks so much for clicking on this video welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if you are returning please know how grateful i am that you're here and supporting my videos and if you are new hi my name is tina i make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos to help motivate you to get it all done and i hope you'll stick around subscribe and if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments we're starting off today's video in the kitchen. I'm just refilling some stuff, cleaning some stuff. And throughout the video today, I'm just gonna be cleaning stuff around the house. We're gonna be deep cleaning the bathrooms, James's toys, and we're also gonna be organizing his toys and setting up a play area upstairs in my office. ready to clean all of James's toys. I don't know how much I'll get through tonight. I'm going to try and do all of them, but there's other stuff I need to do too. So I might just do like the most played with toys for now. I'm going to set shop up right in the living room, I think. So I could just watch TV. Everything's right here. I'll do it at the coffee table. What I wanted to say is this bookshelf, if you remember, was in James's room and I brought it down here. Here's my dilemma. Here's what I'm thinking. Not tonight, but this weekend. I'm gonna bring this back upstairs, but I'm gonna put it in my office. I'm planning an office makeover. I'm not ready to do that just yet, and I don't know if this would be part of it anyway, because I kind of have plans for the other wall, so I don't know if it will fit, but even if it doesn't, I think I'll put it back in James's room, because what I'm thinking is, is that for Christmas time, I know this is a little in advance, but I'm just trying to think ahead. For Christmas, we don't have anywhere to put our Christmas tree. Like, this is the only spot. Last year, it was in this corner. We didn't have this playpen here. I don't know where else to put it, honestly. It's really the only place it could go. Whatever lives here should be something that can just be moved just for the holiday season, like a chair or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna see what Bobby says, but I think that's the best idea because in a couple months, we're gonna to have to move this thing anyway. So I might as well just move it now and move it into my office for at least now and it can hold stuff up there. Realistically, I don't need all this stuff down here anyway. When I wanna put a new toy in his playpen down here, I could just go get it and put it in. Or if I'm really annoyed by that, I could just go get his toy bin that I just took out of here and bring it back. I'm gonna get all this stuff now and clean what I can because it is way overdue for a cleaning, like way overdue. So he has a ton of like little people and stuff. I think the little people don't have any holes in them, but like these do. So I did this once before and I made the mistake of washing these, um, like putting them in a bowl to soak and then water got all stuck inside. So I'm not doing that again with any of the ones that have holes, but I am gonna take all of the little people and I'll put them in water and then I'll go through the other bin that I have and I'll go through this too and pick out the ones that don't have holes, but most of them do. Um, I feel like I should probably maybe condense this down. I mean, these are like mostly all ducks and stuff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start with these for now. It's gonna take me like forever to actually do all of his toys because he has tons of toys in his bedroom, tons of toys in my office slash playroom area. So this is actually making me think I should probably declutter some toys. I don't know what happened, but I lost all of the footage of me actually cleaning the toys. They're already clean at this point, and I'm just spraying them down with that disinfectant as just like an extra. But now we're just going to get into cleaning some stuff, and I don't know why it took me so long to purchase a Swiffer. Uh, there was cobwebs, I think, in every single corner of the house, 
I guess just out of sight, out of mind, and also due to laziness, because even when I did see it, I didn't feel like going to get the step stool and getting up there and getting it. But I am so glad that I got this. Highly recommend. It made it so much easier and actually weirdly kind of fun to go around and swiffer everything with that thing. <laughs> This is my first time trying the pink stuff toilet cleaner. So here's my whole thing, okay? I've always used, well not always, but for years and years now, I've used these Clorox, you know, the disposable ones. And I love that they're disposable. Like I could never go back to just a normal brush, but they're not that great. I mean, I feel like they, it's not that they don't work that great. It's just that a lot of times they break and then you can't really use it so it's kind of annoying like the foam not the foam but the pad will break off of the plastic that attaches it to the wand so that's annoying but I don't know I want to try it out so I'm like I'll just you know put some in here and <laughs> also use that one and see if it makes it cleaner which I don't really know if it did or not but it was still fun to try out so as I was cleaning the toilet, I usually just wipe it down with wipes that I pull, you know, like disinfectant wipes. And I realized the toilet really needed like a deep clean. So I took off the whole top and I started just deep cleaning it. Um, I actually used the Pink Stuff Foaming Cleanser. And yeah, actually I did the same thing upstairs in that bathroom as well later on, but they were both really due for a cleaning. And I'm just going to say this in case you don't know, because I actually learned this in a cleaning video probably like four or five years ago, probably like five years ago, that your toilet seat comes off like this. I never even knew that. And it gets really disgusting under there. I didn't have a before on this one because I didn't intention, I didn't originally plan to do a deep cleaning but it on the upstairs one you're gonna see how gross they really get so yeah take that off and clean it not every time you clean the toilet but every once in a while that's what I do and then I just keep the disinfecting wipes in the sink I, not in the sink under the sink and that way I can just clean up in there quick like you know day-to-day -day stuff so I could wipe down the sink wipe down the toilet stuff like that
So I got the downstairs bathroom all done and then this is later that night now. I come into our bathroom upstairs and this is where it really needed a cleaning. There was stuff everywhere. There was empty bottles everywhere. This skincare shelf that needed to be like taken, everything taken down and wiped up. It was so dirty. Just everything. I had to clean the shower. Honestly, cleaning the bathrooms are my least favorite chore except for the toilets. I don't mind the sinks either. Cleaning the toilets I find very weirdly satisfying. I don't know what it is. Um, ooh, watch. Wait and see how gross this is underneath. Nasty. And it could be even worse than that. And the camera, honestly, probably makes it look not as nasty as it actually was. So this is your reminder to take your toilet seat off and clean underneath. But yeah, I really find it satisfying cleaning a toilet. I don't know why you would think it's disgusting. It doesn't bother me. Um, I'm going to try out. I bought these uh, to try instead of the Clorox ones. Honestly, wouldn't recommend. Definitely not going to buy again. Uh, they do create like a lot of cleaner, I will say. But you're going to see that it left a blue ring around right there and as I was scrubbing I was getting scared I thought it stained it because it was not coming off I had to flush the toilet I put more pink cleaner in it and just let it sit and I did that like two or three times and then the blue ring came off I'm not sure what that's about but I'm just glad that it did come off so this disinfectant that you see me spraying just an FYI because you may not know this as well you have to actually let disinfectant sit every bottle will give you the directions and tell you how long it needs to sit it for that one in particular i think is 10 minutes so i'll just spray it do something else and then i'll go back and wipe it down done here but the last thing I have to do is actually pick up these little blue dots which you're not going to believe what it is but it's actually contacts Bobby has a slight difficulty getting them into the garbage can but you can't be mad at him he has very bad eyesight so I just need to scrape those off the floor had a couple blocks in the road but I get to the bag on the lawn I pick down the stacks while they grow yeah you know me baby won't you keep me company give me something to do when I get low Change this out in here real quick before I go downstairs. Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know what's all good. Know what's all love. what's all Yeah, ready? Let's do the yeah. test. Lay down. 
Yay! Right. More comfy, right, Bubba? I see. That. He's like, um. Is this my bag? Is this? This is my <laughs> Give it a spin. Whoa, a lot of shit dragons. Yeah, can you bring it for me? Yeah. So this is the next day, if you couldn't tell, and I am just downstairs, and like I was talking about getting rid of this bookshelf down here and moving it back upstairs, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just emptying it out and gonna push it to the bottom of the stairway for Bobby to bring up for me. And then I'm gonna work on slowly just kind of making a little play area for James up in my office. It's definitely an in-between. I have a big plan for a playroom office combo makeover and I don't really have anything for it yet. So I'm not sure really when that will happen, maybe next month or something like that. It's gonna fit pretty perfectly on this wall. So that's where it's gonna go. Push this over for now. I'll take care of that in a second. I just wanna get it here because I want Bobby to anchor it as well. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, it does. It, like, almost fits perfectly, but the molding makes it not. Or <laughs> the wall's perfect or something, but look at that. That's pretty insane. What a weirdly perfect fit. We're going to definitely leave that there then, I think. And then I'll just work on all of this soon. I'm not getting rid of the playpen yet until... I'm not going to get rid of the playpen until the room is just totally safe. For him to be walking around and not get hurt and me not having to be like glued on top of him. I think it probably will stay until I do like the total makeover of this area. I take it all back. I took I took out the playpen for now. It just makes more sense I feel like because he doesn't like being in the playpen when he's in here anyway. Yeah so I guess we'll just clean this up and organize it for now pre-makeover. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so oh, you're looking so oh. Now I'm moving closer to you. Tell me what you want to do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place Take you any way you want As long as we're together Everything will do You got me going all You got me going all Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love Like I'm drunk on you. 
So it took me a couple of days and a lot of back and forth of what I was doing in this little area, but I really liked the way it turned out. I ended up taking out that bigger table that I had. It just doesn't really work for now. He can't even use it. And I put this table in here. That one was downstairs in the kitchen. And I think it's so cute. I put all of his toys in here. There's only some stuff downstairs mm. in that playpen. And I just think it's really cute. And I'm really excited to do the makeover and make it even cuter. Putting this in here, worked perfectly and I'm very happy with it. But that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. It feels like I'm drunk on ya. It feels like I'm drunk on ya. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tina. I make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos to help motivate you to get it all done. I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, and if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. So today we're starting this video out with an unboxing of our new juicer. This juicer is a small, compact, cold press masticating juicer for fruits and veggies. And at the end of the night in this video, I set it all up, make some fresh green juice with it, which turned out amazing. So make sure to stick around until then to hear all about it. And today I'm just going to take you through my night in hopes to share some homemaking motivation. And I'm going to start out right now with a quick little TJ's haul. Then we're going to cook dinner, clean up, and then get on to making that fresh juice in the new juicer. You know I had to get myself some flowers at Trader Joe's. They are the best. This chili onion hummus I love. I just picked up some of that tzatziki. Mini brie bites. I love those. I wanted to try this chili onion sprinkle. Some almond butter. And then the main reason I went was actually for this veggie wash. Fruit and veggie wash. I always use it and I ran out. So I got some more of that. And then the last thing that I got was just some of this chocolate covered puffed peanut corn snack. The Bombas. So good. And I finally got my hands on the Target Little People set. I die. OMG. I know this is probably more for me than him. I mean, James actually does love little people. He has so many of them. But you know that I had to get the Target one. I had to. I got him the Target cart when he was still in my belly. I was pregnant and I got that. And he finally can play with it now. Um, and I also did get him the register, but I haven't opened it yet because he's just not there yet. So I want to save it until he actually can play with it. But I was really excited to get this. It's really cute and he does actually like playing with it. So that's a plus. So I'm just opening this up for him and letting him play with it. If you don't feel like watching that, then just skip ahead a little. But honestly, I know this is silly, but I kind of just want it for a memory. So I'm definitely keeping it in. But I am just going to do this and then head into the kitchen and put the flowers away and prep some of my fruit and just start getting dinner ready. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound
I've been on a big Zevia kick lately, uh, especially this cream soda one I've been really liking. I was on a big poppy kick and it was just getting like not too expensive. I mean, it's only two dollars and change for a can, but that's kind of a lot for just a can, one can. So I'm trying not to drink diet soda and I've been doing really good. Sometimes like if we're out or something or whatever, I'll get a regular soda or a diet soda. Um, but I've been kind of just doing regular rather than having the fake sugar. I just feel like the stevia, that's what's in stevia, is different um, than the stuff that's in diet coke and everything. So whatever. I've been trying to stick to that. And I'm just prepping dinner now. I'm getting some chicken ready. I've been doing this just bare brand off of Amazon Fresh. I've been getting it. I don't know if any stores sell it. I've seen Costco with this brand with frozen stuff, but I've been really liking it. I feel like the chicken is always good. It's never too chickeny, if you know what I mean. Um, and a lot of times it goes on sale, so it's been really good. But I'm just doing a basic, what I usually always do, just like garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, usually like Italian seasoning, and then paprika. And then I'm just going to throw some corn on the cob on the stove and some smiley fries in the air fryer. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my. All good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? be on that way trying to control our emotions if we on a rise out of passion we could share love in the ocean but if you want to go insane either way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night, all night. do we heal do we bleed i'm gonna fall like yo bleed but we could go all night now all of my calls go to voicemail block you so i don't raise hell should the talk through it in detail our separate ways ain't gonna end well no but when we get back it's like oh my all bad all day but the night time get that good good till we act right so tell me where we on the day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too I got this Happy Belly brand mayo, which is an Amazon Fresh brand, and I got it to try because we were out of Hellman's, which we always get Hellman's. I got it to see if it compared to Hellman's at all because it was so much cheaper, and the Happy Belly brand has been so good with everything else, and let me tell you, it is really good. I don't know if maybe I'm just not as picky, but Bobby and my mom both are Hellman's through and through, and they said it was good too, so I think it's great. Um... Now dinner's over. I'm just going to clean everything up. And same thing as every night. This is the way it always goes. We have dinner, make dinner. Bobby usually hangs out with James while I make dinner. And then afterwards while I clean up dinner. And then it's usually time for bath time or just straight bedtime, whichever. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Control our emotions. If we wanna rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow like, your beat. We could go all night. Okay. I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves. And knowing your intention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. 
know you looking bomb the way you dress and gone flex and hold it still and let my mind digest you got the leverage you got the upper handle on the situation you worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather we fight retreating then fuck but you trying to kill the cycle when nobody's stressing that body like me i know the way you like it i treat you like a queen run the castle you a treasure feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure you a gem got me blem let's make amends know you can't i'm out here trying to control our emotions we on the right side of passion Share love in the ocean. ocean. But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go all night. We could go all night. Has everyone decorated for fall yet? I have not decorated for fall. I do have those little ghosties up there on the counter, but that is it. Uh, well, that and a little mummy statue guy so cute my mom got both of them for me so i've put them out and that's it i'm really excited to decorate for fall and halloween like all cutesy this year for james because you know he can see like he can tell now like what's cute and stuff like that so i'm excited for that i do want to get some more stuff i just need to go through my bins and see what i have but we haven't decorated yet, but we will get there. So now the night is basically done. I threw in some laundry and we're finally going to get to use our new juicer, which I'm so excited about. So let me tell you guys about it. So this is the AMZ Chef juicer. You can get it right on Amazon. And of course, I'll have it linked down below and linked in my Amazon storefront. But it's an affordable, compact, cold press, masticating juicer. It's low speed and high yield juicing process minimizes oxidation and maximizes freshness. It has 150 watts of high efficiency juicing for more than an 80% juice yield. And it's super compact and sleek, which is perfect for a small kitchen like mine that doesn't have much storage space. It's also extremely quiet. I've never used a juicer before, so when Bobby was there with me when I turned it on, he was super impressed with how quiet it actually was, which is perfect for if you're juicing at night like me when the baby's sleeping or in the morning morning when someone's sleeping so this was super easy to use and basically all you do is cut up your fruit you turn it on and you feed the veggies or fruit through and you just watch the magic happen one cup catches the juice and the other catches the pulp and you can actually do this much quicker than I did and feed the fruits and veggies on one side that larger side and push it down at the same time but this was my first time so I didn't even think of it until I was re-watching this footage it does come with a small recipe book for, you know, different fruit and veggie recipes, but you can actually just go on Pinterest or just Google it. There are tons of recipes online. I really didn't follow one because most of the ones that I had saw used a cucumber and I did have a cucumber that I bought and it went bad. So I didn't use that. Um, I just used a, one whole green apple. I used one whole lemon four stalks of celery, a handful of kale, a handful of baby spinach, and that was it. And honestly, I'm so surprised with how it tasted. I did a juice plunge. Plunge? 
<laughs> Love outtake, dude. You're going to have to shrink. It doesn't go any bigger. I did a glue cleanse. <laughs> if I did a juice cleanse, yeah. I would like room to talk about last night. So I'd be so sad. I didn't follow a recipe because I didn't have a cucumber, so there was no recipe. Mm. So I said I'm just gonna use the things I have. Yeah. That seem green. You might be shocked. Shocked at how good it is. Um, that's not my prediction. I think the coolest part is this. Yeah, that's all the fiber. We're so healthy. Yeah. I know. Let's put some vodka in it. I'm sure you're gonna make that joke like six times. Solid. Cheers! It's not. There's a lot of lemon. That's really good. It reminds me of the juice cleanse, which I'm not doing. <laughs> it tastes exactly like this. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I was going to like that. Yeah, it's not bad. You did a little too much lemon. <sighs> is that what it is? Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything to me but celery and lemon. Apple, I think. I don't taste that. Oh, the lemon's going to give me like what? heartburn. Yeah, I'm going to be like. Oh, it's my chest. Mmm. Thanks for the pick-me-up. I think this is probably good for your skin. Make it glowy. Make me glowy. They call me glowy. That's a lot of ingredients for two little glasses of juice, though. All right. They say the main advantage is the vitamins and, like, the phytonutrients. Otherwise... I'm going to be making homemade orange juice. Brunch just went next level. Oh, these are brunch juice. Brunch juice. <laughs>so much for clicking on this video welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are returning please know how grateful i am that you're here and supporting my videos and if you're new hi my name is tina i make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos to help motivate you to get it all done and i hope you'll stick around subscribe and if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments Today's video is starting out in my bedroom. I'm just getting all of the sheets and blankets off of the bed and throwing that in the wash. And today's video is basically just going to be a couple days of my life taking you through the days with me, cleaning things when I can. Not much deep cleaning in this video. It's mostly like upkeep of the house, getting things done when I could get them done in between mom stuff and work stuff and everything like that. Um, and oh, I wanted to share this kitchen, by the way. I just got this for James and I got it from Walmart. They have this new line there, like a toy line and stuff like that. Um, it's Bat-Tat, B-A-T-T-A-T, -T -T, I think it's spelled. I'll link it down below, but this little kitchen was only $49. It came with all of the little, um, like things that you see me setting up, the dishes and stuff. And there's actually like a little chalkboard on the other side. Um, 
but it's really cute. James really likes it and I just wanted to share it because I thought it was priced really well. I had been looking for a while and I wanted to get one that was under $100 and this one was great. So I also wanted to document it because I had a kitchen when I was younger and I this may seem weird but I always envisioned my child also having a play kitchen so it's just like a special moment for me and I want to have this moment forever. So let's just get right on into the video. I also have an Amazon Fresh grocery haul I'm going to share in a little bit. And yeah, I hope it can be the motivation that you need to get up and clean, whether you're just busy with mom life or work life, or if you're just having a hard time getting up and doing the stuff you need to do. I've been there. I know that feeling. I'm feeling that way right now today as I'm recording this. So I hope that I can motivate you to do the things that you need to get done. So I hope you'll get up and clean with me. Just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember
I'm headed into James's room. I have to get into his closet and organize it because it is chaotic. If you remember a few months ago, I did like a whole organizing series like for shorts and I did this closet and it was good for a while, but then stuff just started getting thrown in and actually Bobby stepped on that bottom shelf and it broke and now the top shelf, I guess maybe I put too much stuff on it. I didn't even know it was broken until I started pulling stuff out of here and it just kind of all started avalanching down on top of me so I had to take everything out and have Bobby put the shelves back in and I honestly have not even put everything away yet I did go through everything on his floor um, and organize everything and put everything into piles of what's gonna you know go back in there and whatnot um, so it will be a lot more organized but Right now, as we speak, it's still empty, so I'm hoping I can get that done this week. It's really not that much stuff, it just looks kind of crazy. Like a lot of it is all of like the, like like this box is a lot of stuff that I'm saving, like memories, and then there's clothes that don't fit yet or don't fit anymore. And then a lot of it was books that I don't have out because they're like hardcover books with pages, so I don't want him to rip them. And a lot of them are like sentimental ones, ones that were given to us as gifts and stuff. So I don't wanna put those out for them to get all ripped up. So I just need to get everything back in. It should be pretty easy. Um, oh, also I had like a lot of toys that he couldn't, he can't really play with yet or couldn't cause now he actually kind of can like this target one. I'm debating on if I should open it or not yet. I still haven't. Um, cause I know he can't really play with the money. It'll get messed up, but he can play with everything else. So I'm tempted to open it. often do you guys clean up your garbage can? I definitely don't have a set amount or anything like that. I just do it whenever it looks dirty. Um, I like to clean it. It's, that's definitely one of those things that I definitely was not doing in my late twenties, early thirties, I would say, uh, definitely probably should have been, but wasn't. So I'm glad I do that now, 
but I also have been making sure that I clean out these little vacuums just so they don't get so like disgusting because they really do and keeping up with cleaning it really helps. I just use the Dawn Power Wash. I end up doing that a little later because my Amazon Fresh order got delivered now so I'm just going to take that inside, unpack it, and then I'm going to share what I got with you guys. I have been loving getting Amazon Fresh. It's just so convenient. Um, I love just being able to do it online real quick and like there's no fees as long as you spend over a certain amount. All you have to do is leave a tip and that's it. And the delivery is always like next day type scenario or even the same day and super quick. I mean, obviously it must depend on where you live because we didn't even always have it available by us, but it just really is convenient. So I would definitely take advantage if it's something that you have by you. Show you real quick what I got. So I just picked up some baby spinach, some green beans, some mozzarella cheese sticks. We needed butter, spreadable butter, some sour cream. The sour cream, the sour cream is the best. I've been pretty addicted to it. Just a couple apples. Already have some. <laughs> Sorry if you hear James. Looks like something was leaking on here, but some vanilla Greek yogurt, mashed potatoes. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, bananas, Monterey Jack cheese, Swiss cheese, I think I said that. Some turkey breast. I used this chili seasoning last night, it was really good, so I picked up another one and a fajita one. Just some biscuits, jalapeno peppers, these are so good. I got this pepper and onion blend, normally I would never get this, but I figured, you know what, it's only a dollar, let me try it. It's frozen, so. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got these little sub club sandwiches. Um, I got this on purpose because I'm going to be making little like Philly cheesesteaks. So yeah, that's it. Love Amazon Fresh.
Sometimes I end up cleaning the bathroom with the disinfecting wipes. Usually I'll use like a regular rag on everything else, but the toilet I always use the wipes on. I don't know. I just can't get I, I just can't get myself to use a rag and clean the toilet and then wash the rag and possibly use it somewhere else, like on a countertop. I just can't do it. So I guess I could, you know wash my rags separately in that case and just do bathroom rags by themselves, but I, I can't be bothered doing that. I already separate my dish drying towels from my cleaning towels from my from my shower towel. So <laughs> enough is enough. But I end up in this video using the disinfectant wipes through the whole bathroom, which is such a waste. I really just should have just went to go get a rag to do the sink and everything like that. Way too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all So I'm just heading into the garage now. I'm going to pick it up as best as I can. This room gets so messy. Um, that's Bobby's brew area over there and this table right here. I want this table to be clear all the time. Just clear. Nothing on it. Like nothing. And it just always accumulates stuff and it drives me actually insane. So I'm just going through putting everything where it needs to live and cleaning it off instead of it being a catch-all and hopefully we can try and keep it like that for a while and then there's a big chaos in front of the couch over there we have like a million records that we need to go through so we have like boxes and boxes of records um we're gonna go through them and sell them because originally we were gonna keep all them and it's just too much so we're gonna keep some sell most of them and then that will be clear um, but I just need to clean it up in here because I can't sit in here and like watch a movie with Bobby or anything like that and feel comfortable because it is the garage. So I need to know that there is no spiders in there. So it needs to be clean. I need to not have blankets sitting there for days and then go sit on it where a spider could just be living in that blanket and then crawling on me. No, 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 no. So I needed to get it nice and clean in here so I could actually sit down in here and I did good. And it's still clean. As I, as I'm speaking, it's still clean. So that's a plus. I always run at the wall. I'd rather jump and risk the fall. I see no limits in the sky. Little by little. Gonna working on myself. Thought I was wrong and needed help. But I'm just different, something else. No little by little here. Cause I get my oh, oh. No little by little. Ooh, I pour out. Give my all, cause I 
that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be. Let me be all I can be. Even a day of cleaning, if you don't end the night with laundry all over your bed that you have to fold, <laughs> that's the worst. Honestly, I hate doing it to myself and it happens every single time. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some motivation out of it. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All that I can, I can be Whoa. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Tina and I have been putting out weekly cleaning videos, homemaking videos, things like that. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to subscribe. So I'm just starting this morning out by making some hard boiled eggs. Uh, this is the 555 method. I definitely want to share it with you guys because I think it works the best when making them. Um, all you do is put a cup of water in the instant pot. It's going to take five minutes to come to pressure and then it will cook for five minutes and then you put it in an ice bath for five minutes and then I peel them right away and they always peel perfectly. They always come out great. So as soon as I learned this, I never stopped. I think it's the best way to make them for sure. But today we're just going to be doing like your basic household chores, things like that. We're going to do some decluttering. We're going to organize some stuff. I'm doing some light decorating in this video. I have basically just been putting stuff out here and there. I did the same thing last year too. I used to always just do everything all at once, all in one day. But the past two years, I guess because I have James, I don't know. I just have put stuff out here and there rather than just dedicating time to decorate at least for fall I think for Christmas I did it all at once I'm pretty sure but uh, for fall this year and last year I've just been putting stuff out slowly and a big reason why is because I didn't really know what I had and I didn't know what I wanted to keep but so I have some stuff in this video that I put out in the video following this one I also do some decorating and then that's really it I'm gonna try and get all of my decorating done this week. I mean, it's not like I'm going crazy with it or anything, but it's October 1st today. So I want to get that all done with, but yeah, so I'm not going to talk your ear off. I'm just going to let you enjoy some music and I will catch up with you in a few. I wanted to share these snack cups with you. So I got these a while back. They're the UBBI Ubi, I think that's how you say it, brands. 
As you can see, they're broken. They broke so quickly. I finally upgraded and got new ones. And these are OXO Tot, OXO Tot. They are so good. It's only three pieces that lid spins on like that. And then it comes with a little lid that you snap on. It's so good because, well, one, you could put them in the dishwasher. And two, there's no way to break them because the lid, you can just take off and give it to them. And the inside doesn't like the silicone on the other one was not connected to the top. So it would push through and it would be pointless. It would be just like having a normal cup. So I'm so glad that I found those. They're so great. It was two of them for like $15, I think. And they're in my Amazon storefront. Um, so my Amazon fresh order just got delivered at this point. So I do want to share with you everything that I got for this week. So first up, we have some bananas, always a staple. I've been getting this turkey pepperoni. This brand is really good. I don't know why, but I wanted to get some Kraft Singles to have in the fridge. Uh, a stock up on some cheese. I've always been doing the like the blocks and I was trying it myself, but I decided to get the pizza one. I got some ground beef was on sale and these Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Strips are so good and I think they were on sale too. Just some lettuce, some microwavable rice. I like to get those at like Aldi or Lidl because they're cheaper, but whatever. I got this taco skillet sauce and I already had it at this point and it was really good. I wanted to try Zevia Ginger Ale Delicious. I got these mini bagels to make uh, mini pizza bagels with and I made it for James and he loved it. It was so cute. And I also got him this fruit spread, which is so good, by the way. Well, not just him. I got it for myself too. Really, really good. So this is the pizza sauce I'm going to use. It was really good. I got this honey cornbread. I don't know. This was like an impulse buy. I was making chili and I wanted to make some cornbread with it. And I made little mini muffins and they were delicious. This is also an impulse buy. I love those Nature's Bakery oatmeal crumble bars, but they're like kind of high in um, calories. So I try not to eat them too much. And obviously they're full of sugar. The best sour cream ever. Uh, some applesauce for James on sweet ends. Obviously, Bobby needed some apples as always. I got him some honey crisp. I think those are the best ones. I think those are his favorite too. Just one cucumber. I got some plums because they were on sale. A lot of times, Amazon Fresh will have sales on, you know, just like random things I wouldn't normally get, but I'll get it because they're on sale. Um, these Chobani creations, they were okay, honestly. Uh, I probably won't buy again, but they were okay. I just wanted to try them out because I had never seen them before. Um, but that's it. Yeah. Those are the few things that I got. So I'm just going to go put those away and then I'm going to get dressed eventually, as you can see, and continue on with the day and cleaning up where I can. find some stuff for here well not for here but to organize the blocks that I have and stuff like that and then when we get home we will tackle this chaos so I told you guys the plan is to try and find some stuff for those toys like some cheap bins there's another crate 
type thing I'll show you in the store that I want to get for uh, when I'm making my card sets and then what else there's a couple things I want to grab that I had seen for some boo basket a boo basket that I want to make um, so I just want to look around a little bit and then I might might go into depends what time it is I, I might go start with every place I might go next door to five below and um, get some fruit at ShopRite. I'm not really sure, but I might because we don't really have that much fruit right now. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just use what I have. I don't know. James eats a lot of fruit. kind of at least want to get some strawberries or something. I don't know. We'll see. We're home. I just went and put James down for a second nap today because his nap the first half wasn't very long. Not so much luck. I didn't find any bins that I could use. Um, I did find stuff for my boo basket, but I'm not going to show that just in case. Um, but one thing that I did get for myself is some, is some pumpkin hand soap for the bathroom downstairs. Bobby thought it was bourbon when he saw it. I also broke two nails. I already had one and this one was loose and now two are broken. So it looks like I'll have to go get my nails done sooner than later. But yeah, I'm going to try and clean up the living room and the bathroom while he's napping. So let's try and get that done. I have a feeling a lot of my planned stuff to clean today is going to happen after he goes to bed tonight. I used to be just like you, trying to meet the expectations of this life. But I wrote my own set of rules, you should write your own too, so we can feel When I was pregnant, even before I was pregnant, for some weird reason, I was always excited for when I had a baby, having a bookshelf in their room like this and being able to switch it out every holiday or season or whatever. So it brings me so much joy being able to put all those Halloween books up. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I guess it's little things, right? But let me know what you think. Um, so obviously James is our first baby. And 
when he gets a big boy bed, do you think those shelves are good to leave? I mean, he can't reach the second and third one, but the very bottom one he can reach and sometimes kind of pulls on it, like, but I'm always right there. But I'm wondering when he has a big boy bed and he's able to move around, should I take that third one down so that he can't pull at it and possibly get hurt? Or I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect. I don't know if he's going to stay in his bed the whole time or is he going to get out? And, you know, like he really doesn't have much in his room right now anyway. Um, one, because we're rarely ever in there. We have like all our stuff either in the living room or in the playroom slash my office. But so there's not much in there also because I knew that pretty soon we're going to be transi transitioning him into a big boy bed. So let me know your tips and anything that I should look out for or consider when we start transitioning him over. So I'm really excited for that. I can't wait to redo his room and I, I might even paint it. I don't know. I'm really excited. The camera really does play tricks, I'm telling you, because this sink was so dirty and you can't even see it. Like as I'm looking, maybe it'll look different. Like if you're watching on TV, maybe you'll be able to see better. But as I'm editing this right now, it looks like I'm cleaning a clean sink. I promise you it is not clean. I should have showed you a close up next time I will. But truly, the camera makes things seem like they are clean sometimes and they are not. <laughs> I love that soap that I got, by the way. It smells so good and I think it looks so nice and pretty and it just matches the little kind of vibe that I have going in this bathroom. Also, I want to update you on my journey of cleaning the toilet. I still haven't found a new toilet cleaner that I like meaning like the wand. So I've been using those for so long, the Clorox ones. I I do like them because I love that they are disposable and you just use one each time, but they're not that great because a lot of times they will like break off of the thing and I don't know. Also, I'm just sick of them because I've been using them for so many years. I, in a video like not too long ago, I had bought a different brand of them. I think it was like Scrub scrub something I forgot and they weren't great I still have the wands and some of the refills I think I used it two more times and I use it sometimes but I definitely won't make that my permanent so let me know what you guys use I'm definitely looking for something new I would love for it to be disposable ideally honestly I feel like I would rather just use a disposable cleaning pad that has 
nothing in it, like no cleaner, and just buy the cleaner separate. That would be the most ideal. The wand from the last set that I got that I showed a couple videos ago, that wand worked great. It held the pad really well. It didn't break it or anything. If that was just a plain pad and then I could just use whatever kind of toilet cleaner I wanted, that would be an ideal situation for me. So let me know if you know of any that exists like that. You know it's a good night when I'm able to wipe down the appliances and that spray that I'm using I really think it's the best spray for wiping down stainless steel I feel like it works the best and that's the method stainless steel cleaner and polish really good so I'm just getting the kitchen cleaned up for the night getting it shut down for the night and then I'm gonna head upstairs and I'm gonna start working on my dresser drawers Still remember how you sound and the way you calm me down when we went behind the bar, taking what we thought was ours. I was wasted, it was late, but I knew I met my fate. You were all I've waited for, cause I can wait a little more. Yeah, yeah, it was just one of those nights when it's better. up in the bedroom I just changed back into my pajamas I don't know about you but I definitely wear my pajamas a lot of the times like two nights in a row before washing them so I just wanted to come up here and work on organizing cleaning out the closet kind of and as well as my drawers everything's kind of messy everywhere I want to change the drawer the drawers around like where things are and I want to declutter and like donate a lot of clothes I have so much stuff that I never ever wear and probably never will but more the most important i think would be 
getting my drawers in order because they're very messy. This top drawer right here, I actually have like all like makeup stuff in here and stuff like that. And I feel like it's kind of pointless. I think I'm going to take it all out, condense it all and put it somewhere else because I mean, I really don't need to have this whole top drawer makeup and stuff like that. I barely ever even wear makeup now. So let's just declutter. But first I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to get my dessert for the night, which is those Chobani creations that you saw in the haul this morning. I've never had either one before, so I think I'm going to try the cheesecake one. Actually, I know I am. I already logged it in my day. So I'm going to go get that, and then we'll start on this room. Okay, let me give you a little tour first. So this is the drawer that I said I want to take everything out, go through it. Then the next drawer is like my bras, socks, underwear. And then this drawer completely needs to be gone through. It's like... I think it's all like workout clothes. I don't know. I need to go through it all. Over here, this is like a nothing drawer. I need to go through it. Um, this is all Bobby. And then I have pajamas in here, which is a mess. I have, these are like leggings and like sweatpants and stuff. I, can, I think I'm definitely gonna switch this drawer and this drawer because this one's bigger and I have more pajamas than leggings. And then these are my t-shirts, which I'm pretty sure I could condense that as well. That's Bobby's drawer. So I'm just going through everything that was in that top drawer, which is mostly makeup, and I'm going to purge a whole bunch of it. I'm definitely going to get rid of anything that's expired, and then anything that I'm not going to wear that isn't expired, I'm just going to give away, and I, I'm i happy to do it because it's just taking up space at this point because honestly, I don't wear makeup every day anymore, and I used to. I used to wear like foundation and eyeliner and eyeshadow every single day. And I'm just so used to not wearing it now that when I do wear it, I can feel it on my face and I hate that. But obviously I'm going to keep some and I'll keep it in a bag, you know, for like special times I'm doing my makeup if I'm going somewhere. And then I'll just keep my everyday bag in a different drawer that I'm going to switch everything to that I'll show you in a second. I think I'm going to switch over and use this drawer as my little drawer like I had over there. And I'll put like my hairbrush in here, my deodorant, lotion, and my bag of makeup that I use, like my everyday bag. the next day at this point that's basically all I got done that night so this is the next morning and I'm just going through all the drawers and putting into that box that's right next to me I'm gonna donate stuff I'm not wearing and then I'm actually taking these are like my Christmassy you know like winter pajamas that I really will only wear during Christmas time so I'm just putting them in a bin and I'll put this bin in my closet because there's no sense in keeping them in the pajama drawer all year long I feel like so I'm just reorganizing and folding all the drawers because it kind of just got so messy and then just changing like the orientation of everything 
I didn't end up getting into my closet. I'd rather just edit this video and get it out rather than trying to wait and fit it into it. But I did like here and there go in there and pull some stuff out and get it into that donation box. So I'm happy to have purged some stuff and one of these days in a video I will do a full revamp of my closet. But this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are returning, please know how grateful I am that you're here and supporting my videos. And if you're new, hi, my name is Tina. I make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos to help motivate you to get it all done. And I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, and if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. Today's video is going to be just getting things done around the house and doing some things that have been getting put off for way too long. So we're starting out in the living room. In my last video, I set up James's new play mat, but I didn't get to tuck it underneath the couch. So today I'm just moving the couch, giving it a nice clean underneath, and then getting the new mat under there. And I'll definitely be moving the couch out completely and doing a deep clean underneath there soon, but I'll share that in a deep clean video this month. Also, I just wanted to say, this video took place in a few different days. I'm definitely not trying to make anyone think that you need to get everything done in one day. I know for me, with work and having James, it is quite impossible to get everything done in one straight time frame. So just do what you can, when you can, and give yourself some grace. Because I know it may feel overwhelming, like you have too many tasks that you need to get done, but I just highly recommend maybe making yourself a checklist of absolutely everything you need to get done and check them off one by one. Even if the task is only a quick two minute task, get it done when you have those two minutes and then check it off and it will leave you feeling satisfied and motivated to keep going. PM and we're gonna fix this. Actually, this is gonna be a voiceover, so it doesn't matter what you say. It'll <laughs> do the thing. Thank you. Uh, there's a molding in the way, so Tina said we should cut it. So we'll do that. That's next. I didn't just say we should cut it. You did not say that we shouldn't cut it. There's a gap. It's too much of a gap. Yes, yeah, too much of a gap. We tried to not cut it when we put it up, but James can crawl under it, and that's what he did all day today. Yeah, he yes, that. Yes. Tell me now 
So far, so good with the gate. James hasn't gotten under. I want to update you on my gift wrapping organizer. It's on this over the door hook now because it completely fell down that night. So I just put it on there for now. And I also wanted to share this new dog bed that I got. So this brand Bedshore, I have gotten a duvet cover from them and actually a comforter set from them as well. And they both were really good quality. So I wanted to try out their dog beds because they were on sale. This is, I believe the 36 inch one. Um, and it was $26, I believe. All of the colors were different prices, but I decided to get black because I figured even if I wash my dog beds, let's say I wash them once a week, they are stained like immediately that I cannot help it. The dogs just get them stained. So I'd rather the stains just not show. And I also need one that is easy to get in and out like this one, because I, you're going to see in a minute, the one that I bought two of them from target right there. They're on the ground and they're very nice looking, but they're so hard to put back together because the inside you see the little round circles like you have to put it in a certain way for them to go back like that again and it's just too much I can't do it so now I'm just upstairs and I'm finally getting these picture frames together I am not joking I bought these frames about a couple months not even I don't think right when we moved into this house because I had a bunch of gift cards from Christmas it was probably like a month or maybe two months after we moved in and I had a bunch of gift cards and I bought two sets of these four by four frames and I kept putting off hanging them up because I didn't know where they were going. They were going to go in the living room and then it took me forever because I needed to print pictures. And then this is way before James and then I had James and then they've just been moving around this house, sitting on the floor room to room for actual years. So I finally got pictures printed out. It's kind of like a James shrine because <laughs> it's all pictures of him with various family members. So I'm just getting that all together and we're finally going to put them up tonight. I bought these lights on Amazon to go over them. So I'm excited to finally get that done. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. It actually took me so long to do this, like definitely over an hour. And unfortunately, they all started falling down because I don't know if you saw, but they came with these little 3M command strip type things. I put them on all of them and I don't know, just like one by one, they would, they would start falling. So I ended up taking them all down and we redid it. It was the next day that we redid it and Bobby hung them up with nails for me, which is better anyway. But, and also because look at my spacing, it just, it didn't look great. So I, it was better that he did it for me. It came out looking way better. And then the next day I just started stripping the bed, getting my bed sheets into the wash. And I actually decided to take off the mattress protector. I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. It's just really hard to get on and off, honestly. And the only reason that I even got it to begin with was be when I was pregnant, I was scared that my water was going to break and I was going to get all over the bed. That was initially why we got it. I mean, we really don't eat or drink in our bed. So I just don't think I'm going to put it back on. Well, not I don't think, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't put it back on. So we were going out this day, so I wanted to get this done early so I could put some baking soda on the mattress and let it sit. So I did all that, I vacuumed the bed, I put the baking soda on, and then when we got back home, I vacuumed it up and I actually sprayed it with some Lysol, and I had our bed nice and clean for to put our sheets on later that night.
So we have a blank wall behind me. After I hung all of them up last night, they started falling down one by one. So I just took them all down so they didn't break. And Bobby's gonna hang them up with nails for me. Poor Bobby. So I guess those command strips that it came with did not work very well. That's true dedication. that just shot off the wall <laughs> is the same one yeah, is there an orb in the background of that picture? That has fallen and broken two at a time. What? Is there an orb in the back of that picture? The freaking better not be. I'm telling you, I, I think this house is haunted. Now this is the third time that I need to super glue the same frame. And it's not falling because the frame is messed up. No. It's so falling do you, do you want super glue due to supernatural super abilities. <laughs> <laughs> this is the frame of our family. This is the only family one of us on it. Wait until I tell my mom. She's going to be like, yeah, ghost town. If I rewatch this video and I see an orb ghost pushing child this, push me. <laughs> I have to go hunt for glass now. I really, really hope that you're not shooting on me because... <laughs> If I was cheating on you and somehow you found out because of a ghost, man, I'd be bad. Babe, your ass is hanging out. <laughs> Pull your pants up or get a butt. it turned out really great we actually decided not to put those lights up just yet I'm just unsure if I want to use them there I have three of those little ones like you saw I just don't know how it looks I might either get something different or just leave it the way it is but we'll see so I'm just making up the bed I'm not really making it. I'm just putting it on nice you know because it's almost bedtime and I'm gonna find something good to watch on TV while I sit in bed and fold my clothes before I take a shower and go to sleep but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.
never cut it right, but somehow you make me change.